Hey guys, Jeanette Barber, Daily Woody, New York City Central Park. Uh, on a holiday, I think I think holidays are wonderful anyway, but especially uh, at a time like this because there's something so unifying about it. And today is really special because it is, of course, National Outdoor Intercourse Day. And uh, I'm sure most of us are going to want to celebrate. Uh, and now here in New York, uh, if you didn't shower, not a problem. You will you will get one as you. Uh, proceed because it's a little rainy uh, today which just makes it a little bit more special I think uh, now uh, now ladies uh, I know you have been tweezing the mustaches and you know going at the eyebrows with the lawn uh, whacker but uh, for today uh, I'm gonna recommend that you uh, please God shave your legs Jane Goodall's gonna come looking for you so uh, or, or or at the very least style it uh, you can do braids cornrows. Uh, there's a, a page boy. Oh, you know what? A flip is really nice with a cropped pant. So I'd recommend that. Um, although if you're going to be completely stubborn, then I'm just going to say, you know, pass yourself off as a hobbit. That way you will at least own it. So uh, National Outdoor Intercourse Day, as, as everybody knows, is a fairly new holiday. It started in 2015 in the Pacific Northwest when Washington State University made this rule that you couldn't put uh, blankets on the lawn. So, you know, apparently all the kids were fucking all over the ground. So, uh, uh, oh, side note, uh, it was very good for rototilling the soil, but still they made this rule. Now, this year, to a certain extent, uh, National Outdoor Intercourse Day is going to be uh, even more daring because everybody's wearing a mask. I mean, it, it's it's all they're wearing, but you know, uh, still. And uh, and we have to do things a little bit differently. This is part of the service here on the on the Woody. Do things a little bit differently if you haven't gone out yet, because social distancing. We've got to do it differently for social distancing. Uh, one good tip is uh, to get uh, a very long hose. Uh, give him one on one side of it, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll go to town. And you go across the field and he won't be able to see you so you can just read. Um, be sure to tell him it was great. That's essential. Uh, but, I, but I know that some people are feeling more cautious. Uh, some folks are turning to Zoom. Uh, so uh, we're thinking of it as Zoom with a view. A, a, a really disgusting view, but still, it is a view. Um, it's uh, well, it's like Hollywood Squares, only uh, possibly with a rash, but uh, or the Brady Bunch. But don't do this with your family. Don't. That's wrong. That's completely wrong. D d in fact, don't even think of it that way. More like a dirty dic tac toe, is something. Um, but uh, but it's an exciting holiday for all of us, and uh, it's also an opportunity to do a little shopping and support the economic community because there are things that could make this more fun and I did the research so that you don't have to. So tools, tools, well you have the standbys, you know, uh, whipped cream, chocolate sauce and the furry cuffs. Um, I like purple, kind of fluffy, almost like marabou, but I, well, this is up to you, you know, choose the ones that you like best. Um, and uh, I do hope that you, I hope that you looked ahead, I hope that you shopped ahead because we're having shortages. Amazon is already out of ball gags, but although in extremis, if you couldn't get one, you can make your own with a very wide headband and a clementine. So that's useful information. You're welcome. Um, other things, other things that can really spice up National Outdoor Intercourse Day. Well, you've got your feather tickler. Uh, you've got a uh, flog. Although this year, this year, we're having meat shortages. Be responsible. Make it vegan leather unless you just want to use your old one. Uh, but otherwise, make it vegan. I think that's better. Uh, there's so many things that, that are making this one a little different, like the, uh, the Tyson plant uh, closing. But, but you can still get your very own rubber duck with a dick. That's the actual name of the product. I did not make that up. I'm not above making it up, but I, I didn't. And, and now, quite frankly, I cannot unsee that thing. But, uh, but if poultry is your thing, you can also get the uh, uh, rubber ducky personal massager, which is adorable. Think of it kind of like, a, you know, Daffy's younger brother with a day job. Think of it like that. That will help. Uh, or you could get the Love and Lamb inflatable lamb sex doll, which is very good for our more uh, rural communities. Because this is a real thing. You can get an inflatable woman or an inflatable 
sheep. So uh, it depends on where you live. In Kentucky, the sheep are completely sold out, but uh, in many regions, you can still get that. Uh, now, anything else for you to know? Well, of course, this is a very big holiday in Intercourse, Pennsylvania, which is, of course, a real town. It's mostly Amish. So, so ladies, this is a place where your beard will fit right in, in case you didn't want to tweeze. And uh, it's good to know. And uh, if you are celebrating in, uh, in Intercourse, Pennsylvania, after you've finished rototilling, uh, you can get really great furniture. You can get shoe fly pie. You can get parched corn. I mean, it's a big holiday there. I think they're having a parade. I will leave the floats up to your imagination. But now, uh, since I'm alone in the woods, I think I'm gonna sort of take off before uh, I run into any revelers, right? So uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Daily Woody on YouTube. And uh, as always, share it if you like it. Thanks guys, bye-bye.